Hello and welcome everyone to another property video tour. My name is Sara Remmelberger. I am buyer and listing specialist at HomeKey Portugal and it's a beautiful day to show you around another property. If you are looking for your dream Kinta to start off-grid life and farming, then keep on watching this video. The property I'm going to show you today is located near Salgueiro do Campo in the district of Castelo Branco. It measures two hectares in total, has a big variety of trees, lots of olive trees, oak trees, pine trees, some fruit trees and mimosa trees, a water well for irrigation or your off-grid water supply, and a brick building that can serve as storage or to have a base to start your life here. Curious? Come with me! And here we go! This point is the uh, starting point of the property. It follows in between those two tracks. This one is also the access. It's a very well-maintained dirt road. A few hundred meters until you reach the main part of the property with the little building on it. So let's walk to the entrance. All you can see to the left is already included. Some pine trees and oak trees. Here are some mimosas. Ah, the neighbor's dogs. They should know me by now. So all you can see on the left is part of the property. This is where you can drive in. Here we are at the main entrance. So you can drive in by car. All those mimosas belong to the property. And here we have some beautiful trees, cork oaks. We're in late October now, everything is turning green again as the rain started. A beautiful palm tree. A little bench. And I will show you the building first. It's built in blocks. This building is not registered, but it has been here for a while. Let's see inside. It's tiled. With walls, everything in good condition. Here's a fireplace. And yeah, for the wine, <laughs> some storage. You could use this as a base to sleep in here while working on the land. From here we can look through into the garage. 
but I will walk around to show you the carriage. Right next is a little workshop. All the measurements can be found on the website. And if we walk around here, then we end up in this garage for a car or a tractor or to build something else inside. This could be a shower, bathroom. Well, there is cables and wires because um, yeah, the electrics were run by a generator. It's not connected to the grid. No water, no electricity, but you can do it with solar and getting the water out of a well or maybe asking for a borehole. So this is the upper part, the entrance and the building. And now we will walk down to the plot that is more a vegetable patch um, where you see the well. So if you're good in mechanics, you could use this for your car. <laughs> Here are some cactus figs. the back side and lots of oak trees in front of me also lots of boulders and rocks a little animal shed chicken coop This wall is the boundary going down. We can send you the uh, cadastre maps on request for you to see better the shape of the land. The well is down there. Here on the opposite side there's a little granite stone ruin, also not registered. But you could build something on top, pergola, or something to sit in summer. Okay. Hmm. It's still very wet here. Lots of water. And this is the well. A massive stone well. I can even see a little snake over there. <laughs> so that's where you could pump the water out for your personal supply or for your veggie garden right behind there's a wall which is the boundary to this side and on the other side you have a flat bit with some fruit trees in the bottom let's walk I'm gonna show you the little ruin so you will walk past the seasonal stream, I guess. All the way up. It's 
here. Just a square with some stones and also the boundary in the back. And then it goes up here and follows all along to the right. Just to show you the vegetation a little bit. Okay. The house is up there. I've walked down here, the well to the right, down there. And then this flat part located next to the well. And here on the bottom are some more olive trees, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Beautiful views. Fantastic day. Of course, it's not always that sunny. <laughs> but it's perfect to show you around today. We walk down. Uh -huh. It's still soaking wet from the last rain about a week ago. We had lots of rain and here is a little pipe to draw the excessive amount of water away and here a kind of a channel Is turning orange. There are some more. And this. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> There's a little olive tree at the bottom. Underneath this, hmm, maybe tangerine tree. Not quite sure yet. A fig tree and a water tank for storage. You can see the house there. up again. And if you wanted to drive right to, to the house and then go further, then you come down this track. So the house is just there. You come down here 
And you can drive out to the main track again. There is a separate uh, plot of land included in the property. We have to walk down this dirt road. It also has a well and oak trees and a flat part at the bottom for growing your own vegetables or otherwise the space can also be just used as a, an additional parking space or to hang out maybe also for camper guests to have more privacy and they can stay on this part of the land and you yourself on the other one so the main part that I've just shown you is measuring about 1.5 hectares and this one about half an hectare. Not even a one minute walk and we're here. This is the view from the top so as you can see on this part which is almost flat you could park or create a tent space or whatever you come up with your ideas here's the space to realize it Let's walk down. So here we are. You have a couple of terraces. more olive trees right behind this wall neighboring land like a little farm you can hear the bells of the goats or sheep I don't know exactly this is the well okay it's dry there's no water in maybe with cleaning you could make the water come back from the bottom hmm it's not that deep maybe it needs digging deeper okay besides that yeah I guess you could also have animals here grazing animals This um, fence is also the boundary and then it goes until this olive tree and in and up again. It's mushroom time. This is the season. <laughs> okay, let's make our way up again.
it's really nice here having those grown-up trees you don't need to start all over again it's already there lots of cork oaks but also the fruit trees yeah, of course you can always add some here we are again and I've shown you everything what a beautiful property I'm really looking forward to hearing your reactions thank you for watching until here if you want to know more about this property or schedule a viewing then please send an email to properties at homekeepportugal.com don't forget to subscribe to our channel give the video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one